Yes guys, today we've got another video. I'm basically going to discuss uh, what settings are better, custom settings or competitive settings. There's also balanced on GeForce Now and I'm going to give my input on what I use and why I use it. Um, and yeah, if you enjoy and it helps you out, make sure to like this uh, like the video, I was going to say stream, and subscribe if you're new. Before I get into the video, I just want to say that um, these settings do depend on your internet um, and competitive settings does output a 120 FPS frame rate of each game and so if your internet is not very good I would advise you not to use competitive settings and rather custom settings you will have a lower frame rate on custom settings as it only goes up to 60 FPS frame rate and so you will experience less lag on custom um, if you do have bad internet. If it's lower than 40 to 50, I would advise to use um, custom. Um, so it does depend on your internet and that's why I use custom. I want to make sure that it is guaranteed good FPS and it doesn't lag while I'm streaming or trying to film some gameplay. For me, I've always used competitive settings, but now I've gradually moved into custom settings because I feel like they're better for me and my performance for the game, and it helps my laptop run better in a way um, since the resolution is different to other computers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through some advantages, disadvantages of both. So yeah, I'm just going to start with custom. Custom, uh, that adjusts better to poor connection. Um, uh, I've compared it to com competitive for me, by the way, it's for me, uh, this might be opposite for you, depending on your internet, it depends on whether you're using ethernet cable, or stuff like that, or extender, um, but for me, I've noticed that when I'm on competitive, I lag out a lot more, um, so my screen will just come up with a message saying, we're trying to put you back in the game, um, but instead of doing that, it just kicks me out the whole game, so I have to restart my router, to disconnect my internet and stuff like that. Um, it also, one other good thing is about custom is that you can adjust to laptop PC resolution. So I'm on 1920 by 1080 so I can, instead of having to play with the default on competitive, I can change it to my liking, my you know, laptop um, to just feel a bit smoother. Uh, I've heard that it does help with lag if you play with a uh, lower resolution but it helps me either way on 1920 by 1080 um, also on custom you're able to adjust your frame rate everyone should know this it's on the settings you can um, adjust it uh, it will help your performance overall if your internet's kind of trashy sometimes especially with the virus right now a lot of people on the internet using up all the internet um, some some providers throttle your internet lower so that you lag um, so you stop, you stop using the internet in a way. Um, also, you can adjust the bitrate, which is good. Um, you can adjust the quality you want. Lower it if you have bad internet. And um, increase it if you have good internet. But there's also custom settings. Um, I've noticed that I do get higher frames. Um, obviously, that might be to do with the resolution going down. I've heard that it does lower it, like I said before. However, um, I've noticed that competitive does depend more on internet. This might not be right, but I feel like it does. I feel like because it's so clear, the FPS, sometimes the internet, um, it feels like it uses a lot of internet. I don't know why. I feel like it does because um, when my internet's unstable, it just starts lagging so much on competitive, which is why I moved on from competitive to custom. Another reason I moved on from competitive to custom was for you guys that are trying to do YouTube um, on GeForce Now and trying to record stuff on there. Um, about the starting of um, the, well, the ending of beta, I noticed that once I recorded a whole video and I exported it and you know rendered it, the video would be so glitchy and unwatchable that I had to move to custom. I'm not sure there might have been a problem or a bug, but that's when I moved to custom and I felt like that was better for me as kind of a YouTuber to put our content with custom settings instead of competitive settings. Um, disadvantages are obvious, you can't, you know, you can't customize your stuff. 
um, you can't customize screen res for me as a 1920 by 1080 player or a screen res I can't customize it so I feel like custom does give me the edge um, it's very similar you can adjust it to your system settings and stuff like that and so people that are lagging and having input delay you can adjust that and take away that uh, which obviously custom is still pretty good so you guys will still have to try out both before you just go into one um, but yeah I use custom settings if you want to see my custom settings I might link it in the description or just check out my channel uh, we've got loads of videos and tutorials on how to you know, enhance your performance on GeForce Now if you need any help make sure to join my discord server <clears throat> and follow me on Instagram um, and yeah that's all it for today I've got some Valorant gaming or Valorant game um, gameplay coming up in the next couple of days I will see you when I upload it if you just want to see that make sure to like and comment um, what you want to see and yeah again if you need any help message me on Instagram or Discord or just put it in the comments for it to be easier but yeah thank you for, thank you for watching um, and I'll see you in a bit